figure stands silhouetted against the ancient walls of Castle Ravenloft. And you see into your imagination. He has a look of power and of madness. Rumbling thunder pounds the castle spires. The wind's howling increases as Strahd turns his gaze back to the village. A party of adventurers has just entered his domain. So, last we left off, our group of intrepid adventurers uh, received a dinner invitation from the dark, or the, the dread lord, Strahd von Zurovich. Uh, mm -hmm. Upon deciding to meet him at his abode, Castle Ravenloft, inside the Burgermeister's, Burgermeister's mansion, there was a loud noise, explosion, rumble uh, from outside. The party decided to investigate, and we found out that it was at the Vistani camp. Upon arriving, the Vistani were... Heading out, turned tail and went running, and told us to leave as well. Upon getting to the Vistani camp, we saw a brilliant, beautiful, winged male uh, that relayed that he was a diva. Who was, uh, what was his name? It was the, uh, the abbot. The abbot mm -hmm. from Gretzk. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he was angry with us uh, that we left Kretzk. Uh, and there was a fight. <laughs> and we fought him and we destroyed a god. Look at that. Or an angel. Fuck yeah. What would you like Indeed. to add, DM? Indeed. He exploded um, in sparkly goodness. Sure did. Indeed. Indeed. Upon his defeat, yeah, it exploded into a cloud of glittering sparkles and settled to the ground disappearing from before you and left to you is only one thing your invitation from the dreadlord himself Strahd von Zarovich believe now is the time to head for Castle Ravenloft yeah I believe so uh, is there question, did the um, party get a chance to rest up after that fight don't believe so. No. Since we're Bok uh, has Bok has exhaustion, but I'm fine. Since we're uh we're still uh outside Valaki and Dorloth will look uh around at everyone. Is there anything that anyone still wants to do uh before we head out, do some last minute errands, 
shopping. Anything. I could swing past my abode and grab my belongings if we're going to be leaving and be gone for a while. And uh, I could drop this ring off as well, return it to a, its owner. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, we could all swing by and then head on out. What do you all think? Yeah, happy to do that. Um, did you guys want to talk to... You? I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, did you guys want to rest before or, or after we hit... Um, after we do these things? Because you're all looking a bit, uh, bit worse for wear at the moment. Oof. Yeah, uh, Jakarta, what did you get here? Uh, sorry, I had to... I had to just... You were molting. Do some... Yeah, you were molting. Yeah, I had to... I was molting. I, uh, my, my skin was a bit icky. Sorry, guys. Bad timing. <laughs> it happens every now and again. Does this, this mean that we can now get, uh, 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 Dragonborn boots? Uh, they, they kind of come off more like dandruff after a, a little bit like yeah sorry it's it's a bit awkward that's why i kind of like go away for a bit of privacy when it happens sorry we well, uh, make some dragon scale armor out of it if we take it to a blacksmith nah yeah, like it sort of some... crumbles it's it's like snake uh, skin sort of like snake uh, skin like it sort uh, of crumbles and goes dandruffy and yeah sorry sorry it, yeah like i said it's, it's a bit of an awkward sight um next time yeah. you do that let us know we can get some some uh, sovereign glue and put it to the outside of you, and then cut oh. a slit, and then we can get an entire form of you. Oh, yeah. I like it! I like it. Okay, but we gotta find okay. more glue. We can, we I can try. <laughs> That's true. We you did it on the vampire. That that was pretty good on the vampire. Okay, but I like it. We Welcome can try back. this idea for next time. New shiny and new. So, you look like it. So, well, I'm feeling shiny and new, but you guys have like. Some sort of glittery shit all over you guys. What? What's? What's that about? It, it, it is possibly what is left of the abbot, or some figment of the abbot. Um, oh, but, that guy. What? He came here. Uh, yes. As as a thing that was nasty and beat the hell out of everybody else, but uh. <laughs> didn't like to hit me so i was perfectly fine but that's good that's something um what did he want what what was he for is it to do with uh, like us uh killing the the burgomaster or something uh no it was more of just uh us uh scaring away uh the Irina, I Irina, and, and oh. uh, him blaming us, and now we're here, so we must know where she is, and us going, no, no, we don't. Him going, yes, yes, you do, uh, and lots of finger pointing, sounds going, yes, yes. Sounds no, like no, a lot yes, of he yes. he said he said she said a lot of that sort of going on, and yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, it's... Did it, did anyone ask what about his uh what about his mongrels that he had all locked up? Well, of course he wasn't going to answer those questions. Uh, well, we can't. He can't answer now. He kind of blew up. <laughs> it is a mm. bit worrisome, though. That, I mean, this abbot turned out to be some sort of angel, and he still didn't feel. Powerful enough to defeat Strahd. Uh, that's mm. a little worrisome. Yeah. Do you think um, something could have corrupted him or something? Like, did it feel like he was influenced or do you like here to fight Strahd? Or maybe do you think he wasn't here to fight Strahd at all? And maybe that's he why he, was... he never wasn't against him? That he was still a servant. That he came with a message. Oh. Do we get the message? What, uh, what was the message? That he was a whiny little bitch, from my point of view. Yeah, I could, 
I can understand that. But we uh, have no place trying to defeat Strahd. We're not strong enough. We're weak. I mean, everything that everyone else has been telling us is kind of what we've been hearing. I don't remember the exact message, yeah. but I think that was the gist of it before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of messages... I'm Yes, this was this were the messages before he went all twilight and exploded glitter over us. Uh, Speaking of messages, that book that you were uh, delivered, you said something about the Vastaji being um, feeling betrayed and keeping somebody a prisoner forever. The Vistani weren't the Vistani betrayed by Strahd by taking the girl. Or is this a different reference? This was an older reference, I think. Ooh. Do we know of anyone else that was a Vistani or anything? Well, I think there was something that we found that was this suggested that there was it. Yes. Journal. That suggested that there was someone who they had been keeping a prisoner for a very, very long time. But as we rode up to the Vastani, they were riding out going, we can't fight the motherfucker who's coming. Um, and we rode in and did fight him. And although it was not great, we did, we did win. So. Found, uh, right. But it says they're I'm... not here. Yes. They're not here currently. No. So. It, it would be a time to well, search. I do remember a a vision I had, um, and it was it was linked to um, to Rudolph. And now, Jr., you're gonna have to sort of help remind me a little bit on this one. That um, Rudolph had his family kidnapped or something and, and killed. Yes. Yeah, his son kidnapped and turned, and turned into a uh, vampire. Yeah, uh, but then didn't yeah. he chase down Vistani? Is this who the book is referencing? That someone was chasing him down and and something? A different person? No, it was a wizard and some sorcerer, um, necromancer. But we uh, we turned his yeah. We got a what what book did we get? We got. You got the Tome of Strahd? We did. Who has that? Okay. Trying to look um, I still would notes. tell the I still would tell the party about the Rudolph thing if the party doesn't know about it, by the way. About that vision. The, the dream. Was it a dream or a vision? I can't quite remember what it was. I'm not uh, sure. About Rudolph Van Richten? Yes was a dream it was a dream okay so i definitely would tell him so what were the highlights of the dream it was rudolph had his son taken and turned he chased down the vistani basically killed him uh, but his son erasmus was taken by vistani and sold to a vampire who turned him he uh wandered about the night hunting monsters after that uh, before he encountered a powerful necromancer who was leading a herd of undead he uh, gave him immunity to the undead and allowed him to command them and he cast the undead down upon the vampire who turned his son mm -hmm. uh, leaving him to be eaten alive and uh, ever since then he's just uh, stalked the night and hunted for monsters to defeat yeah, that was uh, brought to us uh by the uh, someone from the Vastani came and handed us this this tome, and it had, I believe, it had that in it too as well. Correct? Excuse me. That uh, uh, Rictavio tomb, little tomb. uh journal thing, right? Along with the the tome of Strahd that was the tome that was brought to us from as we were inside the Burgermaster's mansion. A member of the Vistani came up, knocked, and handed us that. Yes, he handed you a letter from Lord Strahd, and it was the invitation. Oh. Yep. That's yeah. right. Yep. 
Where do we get the uh, book? So right now, right now, the documents you have are the Tome of Strahd. Yes. Currently detailing Strahd's past and yes. the, the invitation from Lord Strahd. Thought we had a diary as well, some sort. That was that's what the you. tome is. Okay. That's what the tome oh, okay. of Strahd is. Is essentially just a diary. Okay. Does the tome does the tome have like any sort of mechanical properties that we're aware of, or can it be inspected or anything like that? Not that you're aware of. Or, or ha sorry, has it been inspected? I'm trying to remember who has it. I I think I might, but I I don't want yes, to say. You have it. Okay, I I thought I did. Uh, what was the um, description of it? I don't think I have it listed in your inventory. I just told you you had it. Yeah. Uh, did you want to know what was written in it? Um. Well, I'll just even ask the party if they've read it. Like, have you guys read through it? And like, what are the cliff notes? And is there any sort of um? properties any sort of magical properties has anyone sort of inspected it or anything like that for anything really unusual wasn't. i think we did and there was nothing unusual about it correct me if i'm wrong um or not incorrect okay right there was nothing i just grabbed what was way up in chat and i just put it into the text and that's what was um in the the tome. Okay, uh, I'll I'll sort of tick through that as we go a bit later in the break. Anyway, my thing was uh, somebody was being kept here as a prisoner for forever. Do we want to poke our noses and look in on this, or do we want to? Tatiana. Leave. Who that was? Uh, wait. Tatiana was being escorted by um Esmeralda. Wasn't that Irina? Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah. Irina. Well, yes. Yeah, Irina, they're the same. The, they're the, the same person. of Tatiana. Right. So, they're the same person. So, mm -hmm. if they've been captured, then it makes me concerned about Esmeralda and Esmeralda's guarantee about a safe place. Well, we don't. Um, I, I, I don't think that that's who it's necessarily referring to because this is obviously from some time older. But we should. Probably... Oh. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So this is not a new reference. This is again, back to that. This is in reference. that that book that we saw the reference. Okay. But that they they have been keeping someone for a very long time, and seeing as we were in the town of the Valaki without the Valaki there where they had set up a more permanent residence um and they just got the flock out I would mm. suggest that we this would be the perfect time to kind of check up on what the Valaki were were keeping as secrets because they're not okay. here to stop us yeah, no, I'm I'm all on board for that. Um, I've got. It's up to you guys. I can do. I can sort of help you with a little bit of a healing, or if you guys wanted to rest, it's up to you. DM, is it still? We just woke up a little while ago, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh wait, so you guys have rested? No, last no, session. They just oh, no. woke up before the fight. Yeah. Oh, okay, they've only, okay. They've only been up a couple hours. Right. Yeah. All right. So, if I see who can I see is obviously the lowest health. Like, because obviously we're not going to go straight back to sleep. Um, Bok is twenty nine out of fifty nine, but I okay. think I'm not the weakest one. Well, you. I still went down man. to like five. Okay, but yeah. I'm top off. But I'm top off. Okay, uh, well then, is anyone else as low as Bok? Uh, no, Bok. Bok was the uh, star of getting his shit rearranged, so yes. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, well then... He, he grabbed the bull by the horns quite a few times. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, well then, I'll give you, um, 
two two cure wounds should be more than enough to get you back up. All right. So ten, and what does ten get you to? Thirty nine. And and an eleven. Fifty. Okay, I'm good. Sweet. All right. So that's my two. Have, that's I, my two spells. All right. That's fine. Remember the rule: heal the barbarian last. Hmm. That's okay. I don't mind. No, no, it's also because I also have a level of exhaustion too, but I'm not worried about that. Okay. I think right before we ended last session... I just session, really yeah. hated that fucking angel. I think before so, we uh, yeah, I walk up to Bok, walk up to Bok, and I just sort of mumble a little prayer and just a little bit of glowy hands and heal up any sort of cuts and bruises and stuff that you've got. I want to say, uh, thank you, J... 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 And I just give you a fist bump. I just give you yeah. a fist bump. No problem. <laughs> um, oh, I think the suggestion of going to the to the Vistani camp to find out if they've left anything behind or hidden or I think it was a great idea. Um, that's where we are right now. Oh, that's where we are. All right. Okay. Yep. Right. And I believe before the end of last session, we were talking about. Artie, you mentioned. About checking the, the buildings around to make sure there wasn't anybody still hunkered down or whatnot. I, I do air quotes and I say we're checking for survivors and also making sure the threat's taken care of. Yep. In mm. case they come back and find us. Uh, I um, agree. While we search, while we search, should we say as a whole group or at least in pairs as we search each each building? Uh, because. Well, they might not have fled too far and they might be headed back. I think we should do it in, in teams of two. Or not teams of two, but two teams. Yeah. Two teams. Okay. JR, do you have the the Vistani camp? I do. I was just waiting to hear if y'all had come to a resolute decision on that. Yeah. Yeah. Here you are, and all here. I can find your goddamn token. I have so many tokens. <laughs> well, you have campaigns in the same owlbear, don't you? Yep. <laughs> and half of us start at 12 o'clock and work counter to 6. Yeah. Half work Yep. clockwise. To and we'll meet back at 6, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm fine with that all. I'll head to 11. Alright, I'll start with Dorleth's group. You, uh... Inside this house, you find nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe a couple silver and gold pieces. Weapons and armor that belong to the Vistani that used to stay here. I'll presumably be back for it soon. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any of that. Oh, we don't need to disturb it. No. Are you jumping back and forth, or are you just gonna do one full side and then? Till we stop. I'll, yeah, I'll stay with you. Okay. Cool. And then we'll walk over to. <coughs> Sorry, I think o'clock. I got on that side here. I got attacked by my dog by one of the dogs. Sorry. You find the same thing in that house and the house to the southeast mm -hmm. or southwest rather oh and this one too okay yeah. we'll we'll wait near this yeah one that As looks sort of, yeah. like stone is it made of stone does it look like all the others it is stone yes okay we'll wait outside the stone one for the rest of the party yep indeed i'll go to balk raven and Artie. Uh, inside the three houses to the west you find Nothing out of the ordinary. The same regular things you'd find in a uh, ended camp anywhere else. Okay. Okay. I I hide uh, uh the underpants of some of the Sunny women in box backpack. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that like a slide of hand right there? Sure, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll me sleight of hand, and then Bok, I need you to roll uh, 
No, just what's your passive perception? Eleven. Eleven? All right, give me sleight of hand. Let me do it. Ooh, he didn't <laughs> save you. He didn't save you. <laughs> do it. Yeah, you do it. I can't stop you. <laughs> hey. All right. Oh, well, you don't know it yet, but Balk, you now have a pair of women's Vistani underwear in your in your pack. Ooh, mine, and I put it in my bosom. Uh, <laughs> Please tell me they're at least clean ones. Or would you give them a dirty pair? Oh no. You are talking about half orc tribal woman, right? <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I did not give him one with a, uh, uh, which was a brown streak, but they weren't clean. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a certain musk on them. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So I guess we're all sort of timed that we yes. meet up at this last one. Um, I'm going to use a spell slot, seeing how we're on time, and I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Mm -hmm. Alright, you detect no magic presence in the house. Uh, um, Assuming that means you'll head on in? Yep, Jukoto's happy to open so. the door. And... It, it, you do know that uh, there are people in this world who, who can possibly open doors without kicking them in, right? I, I, I used my hands. I used my hands. What's the fun of that? I'm a little bit rough. As you take a peek That's inside, you find said. that this uh, <laughs> house has been far more <laughs> ornately decorated than the other ones you investigated. No one is present, but the fireplace is still warm, even though the fire isn't still going, and a large dinner table is strewn with many, many pieces of gold and silver. We're not here to still. No. But to what? And we're not here to make enemies. To what? We're not here to take, and we're not here to make enemies. I'm not making with enemies. The... You roll with a 25 yeah what are you looking for um any kind of uh ledger notes that strahd might have sent any kind of books you find nothing of the sort i'm looking for like religious icons or i don't know something i may recognize with a little bit of cleric -y background even though i've got really shit religion Mm, go ahead and roll me investigation. Oh. I can help him look too. I keep Thir forgetting my character. Okay, 30 is negative one, so 12? 12 total? Uh, yeah, you find nothing of the sort. Okay. Um. Well, is there. What about things that we don't need to test for? What is there anything that we sort of just see? out that we don't need to test for a Apart pile the of fireplace. firewood uh a large sofa and big big pile of currency on the table can we can we tell who this uh abode might belong to maybe the the brothers or leader or whatnot uh you can assume that because there's one table at the end of each uh, at each end of the one chair at each end of the table right that uh, it probably was where the uh, brothers would operate from would not in the main tent okay well uh, um if they had a ledger or anything they might have taken it with them or paperwork or whatnot when they left camp um can I roll once more to look for any kind of uh false <laughs> compartment or uh, hidden area. Go ahead. Uh, 30, not 20. <laughs> Plus All 10. Right. 
Okay. You find nothing of the sort. Mm. Oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is just a, this is just the counting house. Yeah. Mm. There's they no count? notes. There's no notes on how the money was made. Like, there's no, like, because uh, you said, like, the ledger book was sort of gone. Correct. No, you find nothing of that kind, but you can assume okay. as they are bandits, you, you can probably figure out how they got it. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, who's just, watching me? I'll... I'm in the room. I'm in the room. Yeah. I'm on the outside. Um, I'd say I'm in there as well. But, whatever you want to do, you do what you do. I don't do anything wrong. No, I didn't say that. I said <laughs> I, I leave it up to rolls there, brother. Yeah. Look, Jukaru, Jukaru, because of the whole like chat that we had about the whole like death and the fear and the, the actions and stuff, mm -hmm. he's going to give you like a little nod, like a look, and look at the money and say and just shrug, as in like it's up to you. He doesn't really care either way. Like it's it's just money. It's not someone's life. Kind of sh like whatever. It's a whatever thing. It's a whatever shot. So you, you get the impression he won't stop you if, if you take the money, but he's not going to encourage it either. Mm. Looking back at Artie, will go ahead. Probably, Artie will probably roll to, like, catch you, but even if he does catch you, he's afraid of you, dude. <laughs> he's not going to do shit. He's afraid of everybody. Yeah, I'm not actively watching you. <laughs> I don't have a very high passive perception, so. And with that, I'll just walk out and, and let, let you make your own choice. Keep them as friends. It's money. Keep them as friends. It's money. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm maybe not a complete idiot, so I, I walk out. All right. So where are we headed now? <clears throat> I think already mentioned about dropping a ring off and swinging by his house to pick some stuff up for the. All right. And some people might want to go talk to uh, the gossip alcoholic at the tavern. Rick Tavio? I don't know. I only bought him drinks. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Is that him? Uh, no, that's yeah. Rick Tavio. I'll go. Uh, uh, Rick Tavio, yes, is the alcoholic at the tavern. Yeah. I'll stick with Artie. If we're okay. splitting up, if some people want to go talk to Rictavio. All right. I think I'll after the vision, I, I'd first. want to. Okay. What are you two going to do? Um, I'll, I'm happy to stay as a group, or I'm happy to split if it's just a conversation with Rictavio. It doesn't, doesn't really bother me. I really don't see a problem with splitting real quick. <laughs> We're just gonna yeah. bike back to Artie's place. Y'all. Yeah, cool. Prado, you said about um, that dream you wanted to talk to him about. Get a yeah, just sort info. of maybe touch touch base, touch base with him briefly yeah. or something. All right. But I'm not trying well, to I'm not trying to hide anything from the party. Like, yeah. Yeah, I I'm not going back towards him because. Uh... I've had my say with him, and I, and if I'm ever going to end up like him, I, I don't like seeing him that much. <clears throat> All right, I, well, I'll I go with a... Artie's group first. Artie mm -hmm. and uh, Orlith, y'all will head back to Artie's house, and what will you be doing there? Uh, I'm just going to try to uh, retrieve anything of value uh some spell reagents that i wouldn't be carrying on myself necessarily um but uh as we approach the house um as i touch the doorknob 
you hear my voice from inside the house um, uh, say that I'm extremely busy uh, doing a task for the Burgermeister and not to be disturbed. That's I'm pretty smart good. there, Artie. Glyph of uh, Warden? Um, magic Mouth. Okay. It's pretty cool. You have to teach me that sometime. Um, so I go ahead and uh, unlock the door um, and uh, go in and I approach one of the tables uh, in the kitchen area that's just cl cluttered with items, glassware and stuff. And I start setting up a, a small alchemy set and lighting a flame and basically brewing coffee. <laughs> And then I'm going to walk off and grab things and start shoving them in a, in a backpack. Um, and then come back and off, pour two glasses and offer Dorlith uh, some of this mud water. All right. We'll, for a moment, I'm going to switch over to the other group. All are going to be heading back to the tavern to uh, meet with Rudolph. Yep. All Rudy. Right. Tell me what's uh what's going on, yeah. That is not where I am. I've had too much interaction with Rudolph, so Alright. Um So Jukaro obviously will just first step and just see that he's there first off. He is, is still sitting oh. in the same spot nursing a uh tankard of, of that purple grape mash. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go to the bar and I wanna ask one for the I just want to ask if there is... Oh, okay, I'll just ask. Uh, do you have any nice uh, non-alcoholic drinks? I think it's Tadanika. Her name is Danica, but she shakes her head okay. no and says, No, sweetie, uh, this is a tavern here. All right, well then, just some water. Do you have just clean drinking water by any chance? She nods and turns before heading into the back and the... Coming back with a anchor of nice clear water. Awesome. Can I have that? And the was it the dragon drink? The dragon grapefruit thing? That's what um I believe. Or the dragon wine. I think that's Red what Dragon Crush. Drink. I think that's what he was drinking, wasn't it? Uh he's drinking Rictavio's drinking a uh, tanker of purple grape mash. Nah, I've been I've been buying him the other one. That's alright. Uh how much is that again? I'll buy. I'll get the water and I'll get the that drink. Just one gold piece for all of it. One gold piece. Okay, cool. Um, so remove, and then I'm gonna walk up to Rictavio. And he uh, sees you coming, stands and opens his arms, greeting you, and says, <laughs> "Hello, my friend." Hello again, my friend. And I'll slide them, slide both drinks to him, and and say this is a little bit of an unusual interaction um and these drinks is also a little bit of a choice i had a vision and it was regarding yourself and and a former loved one of yours that was taken from you and what you did to avenge it and he it was horrible he says indeed my son Erasmus. Yes. Um, I can I can see now more clearly why your heart. Well, it's broken. Um, I I actually have a a child that I've never seen. I was kicked out of my clan before it was it was born. And I drew her one day to get back and meet my child. Um, so I can, I can sympathize at least with some of your pain. Yeah. But, are you gone? He <clears throat> nods and says that he hopes that you can manage to find your way home to them one day. Um, but in the, in the dream I had, it, it, it infers about 
type of hex, a curse that you have on yourself that you're cursed to what fight or struggle in these lands. Like you, you have no type of escape. Mm. He says, indeed, I have been cursed to live always among monsters and see everyone I love die beneath their claws. Who do you still love? He says, well, no one. I prevent that from happening in order to save those around me. And do you still fight the monsters? He says, when necessary. For now, I just live among them. Well, I sort of posit a question with these drinks. And I understand why you drink your sorrows away. I fully sympathize, as I said. But you know that we're not straight up powerful enough as we are to fight stride and i'm not going to ask you to be foolish with your own actions but i think it's time to stop just willingly live amongst the monsters in your curse but to take the fight back there are other people in these lands that actively try and go against him like a certain girl that that you know that's missing a limb. Um, that's trying to hide someone. There's he says, uh, indeed, Esmeralda. <laughs> yes. Ah, so I'm trying to. So I'm trying to not use names just in case, like the whole Strad spy thing. That's what. I, that's why I was trying to All avoid right. names. Um, but if he's saying names, he's saying names. So it's up to you. Um, so. I've brought you two drinks. I'm not saying you have to make a choice right now while I'm sitting with you, but one is you can keep wallowing, and the other one is why not fight your curse? I'm stop, stop living with these monsters and start fighting them and living with the others. Let's live with the living. I can't break your curse, but I can at least offer you that choice of living with the living no matter no matter the result he and then I looks down at the drinks uh, silently tapping his finger on the table and as choice indeed with that I'm gonna stand up and I say I need to rejoin my, my friends uh, I'm gonna hold my hand out to shake his hand and I say, either way, I don't wish any ill on you. So it's your choice. But I hope to see you again, not sitting here, but out and about fighting. And I'll, if he's shaking my hand, I'll shake him. He doesn't acknowledge your gesture, just keeps his head down in thought, it seems. All right, I'll leave it there and... I said, take care. Like, I'm not rude or anything. I'm being polite. And, and I'll walk mm -hmm. off and tap the clock and say, if you want to go. Hang on. Two for the road, please. Mm. Danica turns to you and drops two uh, tankards of purple grape mash in front of you, asking for one silver piece each. I give her three. She nods and slides them into the front pocket of her apron before going back to her duties behind the counter. All right, and I want to be crystal clear that she's double fisting these on the way out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if everyone's ready to head on their way, I'm assuming you're going to go and meet up with Hardy and Dorlith? Yes. All right, then. Doylith and Raven on the way out of the house uh, you spot your companions in the center of town and you all meet up there and decide on what to do next
I think we have a, a standing invitation to a place, don't we? I don't think it's standing, but I think there's an invitation that we need to take advantage of. Hmm. Is either that or check out the mongrels left at Kretsk, uh, I think. The Castle Raven Law. Hmm. Agreed. Might as well go see what they have for us. As if to affirm... As if to affirm your suspicion, you notice that the mist surrounding the region has encroached on the town of Valaki, uh, prompting you to head to your to your east. Let's... Oh, Chicago's ready. Head east. Yes. Okay. All right. So I need everyone to go ahead and roll me survival checks. Okay. Survival. Okay. I'm actually what the fuck? Fuck? I rolled a natural fucking one for a total of six. I rolled and I got a 11. plus five. I got a fucking plus five. That wow. Okay, That's so wow. we have a six. What else? A ten. An eleven. A ten and an eleven. That makes what? Twenty-seven. Yes. So twenty-seven. What else do we have? What are we rolling? Real quick. Survival. Survival. Is is a vampire undead? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just uh, just making sure that it's. Uh, that I have advantage block, on this roll. Uh, what is it we're rolling? You're... I'm exhausted because okay. I frenzied during that yep. fight with the angel dude. Seventeen. Seven plus seventeen is forty-four. And lastly, you have everybody. Is that everybody's? Nope, Artie. He, yeah, Artie. What's your survival? He might be holding a conversation elsewhere at the minute. Can you just look at the rollings? Did he? Roll oh, there he goes. He's rolling now. Fifteen. Uh, Fifty-nine. All right. So, uh, we all pull up the. Sorry, sorry. It's pretty good. 59 is pretty good. Over the next eight hours, you travel to here and uh, multiple times, you have the awareness to notice you're being stalked by a group of wolves. Multiple times as they encroach on you, you make your presence known and make your uh, make it clear that you're aware that they're there, causing them to retreat back into the forest. Very suddenly, just around the eight-hour mark, the mist encloses in front of you, stopping you from progressing any further forward, but preventing you from heading back anywhere, or left in an open clearing on the road in the wilderness, an opportunity to rest. Mm. Uh, it, it seems that we've been invited to rest. Mm. Do we want to take shifts? I think that would yes. be wise. Um, yeah. The only one who should not be on shift should be Buck. Why not? Uh, because uh, you need more rest. Mm. No, I'm good. I take first watch. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm the one that wasn't in the fight. I will definitely take a watch. You I'm rest, my friend. Fine. You take a rest, my friend. Yeah, Jukato Jukato wasn't in the fight. Jukato will definitely take that first first watch. Any uh, uh can I take or first how many watch watches? Too. How many watches however yep. many you decide uh, whoever whoever stays on watch will only get a short rest instead of a long rest mm -hmm. oh so the so uh Bach needed a long rest 
Zucoddle, that means you and Artie also need long rest. Orlith, do you need a long rest? Oh, wait, because I use my spells. Yes, sir. I use oh, well. okay, yeah, I see. That's all right. I'll, I'll stay up. Y'all y'all get some sleep. Uh, I'll take first watch so you can have the first short rest. Um, right. Are you going to be okay with just a short rest? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's all good then. All right, then. You take your rest, and uh, who decided to stay up for watch? That would be me. All right. Well, during the night, you notice that the mist has silently opened up to your southeast, giving a clear path that you can see down to a cave mouth that has a striking resemblance to a wolf's head. Um, halfway, uh, through the night, I, um, I, uh, touched Dorlis' shoulder because he said he could do the second watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, watch, uh, sir. Uh, uh, all right, I appreciate it. I'll, uh, I'll hold two. Get some rest. Dorlith, path you notice the, the, uh, you opening, the opening to the path towards the cave mouth, not a quarter mile down, uh, into the wilderness. Is it, uh, Raven, before you go to sleep, is that always, is that there? It when, opened up. Uh, have you seen anything uh, through it, or? Nope, just, that's where we're headed next, so. Right. I, I I figured it was best to leave you all to sleep as long as I could and and then to work from there. Well good night. Alright. Uh, I take my short rest. Or let's roll. go ahead and roll me survival. Night. one all right you um managed to notice the uh the entrance of the cave uh, stand two figures they don't seem to see that you're there because of the distance but seem to be keeping watch but uh what does the figures look like humanoid or any weird do seem humanoid they're not moving or anything they're just kind of standing watch indeed okay both will uh just still keep between the party and this the open in the mist uh the opening mm -hmm. um just kind of sit down have his rapier out uh right by his side and he'll Take out the the amulet carefully from around his neck, and he'll just start twisting it and turning it in his hand, poking his fingers on each of the the star points, and uh, think about his his mother's and uh, and his mind will stray to uh, to Strahd and, and the. The odd and uh, sad people of this this land. Uh, the whole time, just looking through the opening in the fog until it's time to wake everyone else up. Indeed, the amount of light in the sky doesn't change, but 
You know that it's daytime by the increased activity that you can hear among the animals. Birds flying through the trees and all sorts of fauna becoming active the first time. Well, they'll start to uh, gently shake everybody awake and nod in the direction of the opening. Give them a a little a little verbal about it that there's uh kind of seems like it came out when Raven was on watch mm -hmm. and then I see I saw two people two humanoid figures in the mouth of a cave down through it so wake everybody else up have we have we been spotted doesn't doesn't look okay. like it no one's come any closer. They're pretty far off. But I'm glad we didn't start a fire or anything. Um, do we want to try and stealth up or just walk up or a bit of a mixture? Uh, you will forgive me, but the vast majority of you are not stealthy bastards. Oh, I agree. That if you wanted to do stealthy, I would have sat back and waited a little bit so that the other sneaky sneakies can go or I'm happy to just walk up and then the others can stealth around so they're looking at me if you wanted yeah I, I I don't think with the group that we have that we have really good sneaky sneaky the only sneaky sneaky is me hmm um, and I will be sneaky sneaky and you all will be loudy loudy but yeah me um, going alone is not really a solution. Oh no, like you guys I'm money? happy to I'm happy to walk towards them and be the obvious sight if anyone because yeah, I'm in big loud clanky armor. And if anyone else wanted to sort of like slip away and shadow. Or well, if anyone wants to okay. just walk loud with me and do a mixture. I don't know if the I'm going to try to still. showed us this path. Yep. I, think, I think it's where we got to go regardless. I don't know. I can't tell if they're friendly or not. Um, yeah, so do we, do we just walk up all together? Artie, do you recognize anything about... about what we see on the other side of the uh, this fog here is he kind of gestures towards the the figures standing pretty far off. Can I roll like history or something to see if I recall reading anything about this in books or anything? You certainly may. Fourteen. All right. You uh don't recall anything specific about that resembles his situation uh no not in my research it was worth a shot mm. why don't I mean there's a few of us that probably couldn't be sneaky why don't we just walk up like normal and whoever else can sneak sneaks and then we deal with that as it comes yeah, yeah just like you were saying hmm not really that sure there's we've, uh, co covered a couple of ground couple covered ourselves in a couple of ways yeah I really don't I can totally be way. sneaky I look at Raven uh and try to perform sneak <laughs> for judgment uh roll a 15 uh that'll be is that for Ra Raven benefit <laughs> yeah I I want to I want to like try to get approval of Raven and, and I roll and uh I just with barely trying get a 15 and I'm like <laughs> alright well um it seems like you two are gonna you, you two were able to sort of blend in a bit more naturally than say I can um what about Doralis, Bok and I walk up and say hello and and you two sort of just shadow along and things go wrong 
Um, Obviously, just jump in. Fine with that. That sounds like a plan. Cool. All right. With um. Start. DM. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Um. Can I roll or elixirs as we had a long rest? Or yes. Go ahead. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, six and a three. All right. I don't know Figure out what, what those are. Yeah, I don't know what that equals, <laughs> but go ahead and uh, add it to your inventory. Uh, six is alter self. All right. Don't figure it out. Yeah, six is Alter Self, three is Resilience. Okay. I wonder what sort of place this cave is. Actually, uh, DM. Yes. <laughs> um... Which one of those, uh, the three was first? So I'll keep the resilience. I forgot if I burn the, the spell slot in order to make a second, you pick what it is. So, okay, so you don't want to waste the spell slot? No, I, I am, but I forgot I get to pick. Okay, so I'm keeping the first d6 that I rolled, which is resilience. All right, and then I'm getting a healing potion. Sounds good. Above the tree line, carved into the side of a rocky mountain spur, is a wide torchlit cave that looks like the gaping maw of a great wolf a 100 feet above the cave mouth farther up the sloping mountainside the rocky ledge at the edge you can see a, a rock in, encampment and the open jaws of the wolf's head form a 15 foot high canopy of rock over the cave mouth held up by natural pillars of stone ceiling rises to a height of 20 feet inside the cave which is in iron brackets line the walls outside and from somewhere deep inside you can hear the echoing but discordant sounds of a flute hmm. well i guess um darlith buck and myself um just let's let's walk up nice and easy and announce ourselves as you announce yourselves two tall figures approach from inside the cave you nearly question yourself when you see them but after you blink hard and look again you're able to confirm that the two large figures are two people standing on their hind legs with sharp claws and Angs and matted fur. These are werewolves. Cool. Are they acting aggressively? Or are they just there? When they see you, they snarl and then one of them turns and howls loudly into the cave. Hmm. Before turning back to you, taking a step forward, snarling. Uh, hi, friends. Who is, uh, who are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, buddy. Inside, the, uh, werewolves continue growling at you, and one of them speaks up to warn you to be gone for are set upon by the pack. Um, if I look over my shoulder and around us, like, there's mist behind us, correct? Like, we don't really have a way back. Yeah. There is nowhere to go but forward. Mm. 
apologies. We we don't have a choice. We've been led here by by the lands, by the mist. Um, it's like we've been led here by a greater power or something. Yeah. Your your kinder, uh, gracious hosts, individuals who haven't slighted you, and I believe that's us currently at this minute. Trying to convince them, persuade them. Yeah, basically. Yeah, roll me persuasion. Be, okay. Um, <laughs> is that him or me first? I don't know. Um. Sounds like Doralith is probably a bit better. Or lift, yeah. Nice. Whoever has, because I'm only gonna let one of you roll. So I'm a, I'm a plus one. I'm just a plus one for persuasion. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Uh, it's uh, a six. Uh, it's a six. <laughs> Both werewolves take a step forward. <clears throat> Howling loudly and seemingly waiting for you to make a move. Uh, I'm we... curious. Do, do, sorry, do I see any sort of like any religious things? Do I see any sort of iconography that I don't recognize or something that I can reference to? I don't know. No, no iconography or any kind of thing like that. Hmm. Uh, well, they're, uh, friends, uh, we, I, I think we might be, we, uh, it, um, and Dorothy kind of stutters a little bit, we, we need your help, possibly, that you might be, we were kind of instructed to come, maybe talk with your leader, uh, and Dorleth will slowly and steady his hand um pull out the uh symbol of ravenkind just mm -hmm. flash it a little bit and then put it back into his under his uh his cloak mm. Wolves seem unfazed by this and take another step forward. Damn it. Take it take us to your leader. Oh, sorry, What's do you that? have my um my token? Is that intimidation? Yes, I've got uh, your token. You just not say. not necessarily. I mean it, it it was more like uh let let's kinda stop fighting. Thorleth is a little shaky in his delivery. Um, he's not trying to intimidate <laughs> them. He's like, come on, come on, seriously. When, you, when, when you're done, done, like, just up here. I'll probably in this step area. forward. I'll at least yeah. step forward. Not super yeah. aggressively, but Thanks. just be in the way. Just be like, hey, we, we mean you no harm. As my friend said, maybe we can chat with your leader. Can we, can you take us so we can talk with your leader? Hmm. Raven, do you have magical weapons? I have a silvered sword. <clears throat> the wolves, the werewolves, rather. But i that's as much as I will say. The werewolves crouch and both of them leap out towards you, Zhukadl. Teeth and claws bared. So I need everyone to roll initiative. Motherfucker. Oh, God. Okay. Um and when eight. we were Fuck. <clears throat> when we were back here, I was trying to ask Raven through text uh if okay. his weapons were magical. Yeah, he does. He has he has a silvered weapon. Okay. Yep. Um I'm gonna can I have casted and if not, that's fine, magical weapon on his offhand? Not without giving away your position because it has somatic components or verbal components, rather. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. All right, did everybody roll initiative? Um, Shukaro got an eight. Okay. 
I and got while a that's 15, happening, Raven got a 15. Those, those how big are those rocks? Rocks, and they're big. I mean, you're not gonna be able to move them on your own. I was more wondering, like, if I went large, like, can they're I? They're bigger than them. Oh yeah, yeah. They're not like jutting up into the sky. You ah, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's what I was just trying to gauge that. If I make that choice. Hey, Tilly. All right. Two werewolves lunge out and make two attacks each at you, each trying to grab mm -hmm. you with their claws and then bite you. Give me just a second here. Motherfuckers oh, better not give me a lycanthropy. <laughs> oh. I can just see it now. Oh, Dragon Dragonborn! Scale. Dragon oh. scales with hair between them. Ooh. We have two 21s, a 10 and a 6. Uh, yeah, is it yeah, me that beats it? Wait, wait. Oh, wait. you wait. motherfucker. It's 21 exactly. Okay, so two 21, so the two bites hit. So they don't manage to get a good grip on you with their claws. They do mm. manage to, they do manage to, to sort of latch onto you with those claws. Dealing a total of 10 piercing damage. Is that eight or total? total? 10 total. Cool. We'll be around to box turn. All right, gotta help my bro out. Do, 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 do. I'm going to rage uh -huh. as a bonus action, and then take two swings at damn it, too many taps at the nearest one at me. Okay. So, first swing. God damn it. Oh, that's not going to do it. Uh, third one. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, second one. And a swing. 25. That'll hit. Nice. For a total of... Um, eight magical slashing. All right. And that will end my turn. I'll label these guys for you. All right. Good. All right, and then we're on to Raven. Um, Raven will crouch to there and, and coming in sneaky like, and we'll attack. We'll be attacking B. All right, because that will give me advantage. Mm-hmm. I'm attacking A with you. Uh, would it? I'm not sure. Well, because you're, um, you're hidden, you would get advantage. Well, then, then actually let me go with A currently. Okay. Because B will be, I would have advantage because of, uh, flanking. But right. let's go advantage here. Okay. Well. That sucks for rolls, but first time. <laughs> uh, Thirteen thir hits. Thirteen hits. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right. And then give me sneak attack. Yep, sneak attack as well. Ten. All right. So seventeen all together, and with that, I will. Um. I'm going to disengage 
and move and hide again. All right. We are on to door. Ooh, hide is an action. Well, I will disengage to here so he can't see me. Sounds. Ooh, sure. Yeah, you can be right there. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a fifteen on on an initiative, but I don't see it in the log. Sorry, I thought it said you had a twelve. My bad. Here you go. Oh no, twelve. You're right. Okay, yeah, you did have a twelve. That's what I thought. All right, then in that case, we're on to Dorlith. Uh, Dorlith, seeing these these werewolves, uh, he's still just a little little shaky. Um, he's gonna move uh, over here. And uh, as he's moving, he's going to steady his hand, take a deep breath, draw his rapier, um, and stab it A with it. All right, let's roll it in. Ten. A ten will not hit. Man. Uh, and he'll, he'll take a deep breath. And just take his dagger out and slice at it in his other hand. All right. Let's roll a hit. 23. Roll hit. Five points of piercing damage. As he's shaking a little bit and trying to steady himself from seeing these creatures. Oh, is that dagger magical? No, it's not. Every, I don't have anything. It's all base. Do what you got to do. And that'll be the end of his turn. All right, then we're on to Artie. Um, I am going to... Uh, going to grab my token. There we go. Um, I'm going to uh, take a green noxious potion and uh, expel for 60 feet. Uh, any deck saves, or con saves from both of them. Okay, so does that mean they just automatically fail constitution saves? No, 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 I need their I need constitution oh, need saves a con from save from each of them, okay. Yeah. First one's the second will be a fifteen. Okay. So they take eight damage okay. with a twenty six to hit, but the constitution save needed to be fifteen or higher or they get poisoned. They both beat it, so Oh, I thought you said one was lower than that. Okay. Oh, it was an eighteen and a fifteen. Oh. Well, would it meet it beat it? For the 15? To hit yeah, and save, to save. To save. So, to save. Yeah, so... Okay. You're the one rolling, meets it, beats it. Not if someone's rolling against you. Okay. So they both take... Eight. That. Eight, uh, acid, right? Five damage. Uh, yeah. Why am I not appearing in the chat log? Uh, eight like damage. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're there. You're there. You might, okay. uh, you might have case, a delay. Wrong to you, Carl. Wait, All right. I um, you. That's a different character. Hold on. Is it me? Yeah, it's your turn. Sorry. Continue. Oh, okay. Sorry. I wasn't sure if you... Okay. Um... Okay, so I am first off as a bonus. I'm going to use my, what is it called? Um, actually, no, fuck that. Just go to spell. I'm going to cantrip and just use a sacred flame. So I mean, that's going to be disadvantaged because you're ranged attacking against a melee ranged target. Ah, oh, okay. Because mm. I'm just trying to, as a character, I'm just trying to remember the 
I remembered that normal attacks don't don't work effectively. Because we were warned. Um. All right, fuck it. Just do it anyway. Disadvantage, yeah. That's disadvantage because you're ranged attacking oh, okay. with a uh, range. Although it says hit DC 13, Dex 13. Oh so yeah, it's not a, it's not to hit, it's a save. Okay, so it's Dex. Yeah, yeah, Dex okay. 13. Fucking confusing me, man. Ten. Uh, so that that hits, and obviously just straight in front of me. I'll go for B first. All right, how much damage? Okay, two D eight radiant. So six total. All right. Oh, low. Um, and. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any bonus actions that I'm willing to do at the moment. All right, then. In that case, we're back around to our werewolves. Uh, Bok, the uh, werewolf next to you that you just attacked, will attack mm -hmm. back at you, trying to get you with his claws and his um, and his bite. And Dorlith, it's going to be uh, an impressively fast move from the Orlot the uh, werewolf next to you he'll sort of spin quickly and kick at you twice with his claws trying to rake you rake your flesh with his claws so I'll right. go uh, against Dorlith first it'll be 7 and a 21 yeah, the 21 does hit okay it will deal 9 piercing damage against you, Bok. Alright. It's going to try and bite you and claw at you, so the claw attack will be an 18. That hits. And the bite attack will be 13. That hits too. Okay, so the, the claw attack will deal 6 piercing damage. Sorry, slashing damage. Half because I'm raging. Indeed. So it'll be 3 slashing damage. Yep. And the bite attack will deal two piercing damage. One. Okay. Give me All a constitution right. saving throw. Alright. Eleven. Eleven makes the save. It is your turn. Alright. I'm gonna go. Huh. My turn. Huh. Attack twice. First one's an 18. That'll hit. Nice. It's gonna do seven slashing magical. Okay. Next one's gonna be 15. That will hit. That's gonna do 12 slashing. All right. And that one, my turn. All right, we are on to Raven then. Um. Uh, with my bonus action, I hide, and then I move. What is that? Cunning action. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Um. Move there. And attack A. Okay. Nineteen. That'll hit. Or five plus six, so eleven damage. Kill cool. right. And, and is that a silver short sword? That's a silver short sword, yep. Um. Got anything else for me? No, that's it. All right. Orlith. Uh, Dorlith will do the same thing 
take a deep breath, steady his shaking hand, and uh, stab at A with his uh, rapier first. All right. For a natural 20. Yep. Nice. And give me crit damage. Yes. Uh, roll it again, roll, yeah. um, just right-click and press critical. Okay. All right. Nice. It'll do. And then, uh, mustering the courage to slash out with his dagger, or to stab you with his dagger, uh, 18... And lunge to do four points of piercing damage with his dagger as well. Um, and uh, he's gonna look around to where everyone's kind of at, and he'll just steady himself in place, and that'll be the end of his turn. If you notice on his uh, when you strike him with your blades, the attacks land, but no blood comes out, and when you just just a second after you cut him, his wound heals. Party, we're on to you. Uh, I'm going to move 30 feet back. I'm going to use uh, Sharpshooter, which is a negative 5 to hit. Sure, it's 5? I thought it was 10. No, That's it's negative five, five to hit, to hit for ten extra damage. Okay. Yep. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, that does not work for the first attack, and then I just have uh, fourteen to hit for the second. Mm, that's minus five. No, not for the second one. Okay. Neither of them hit. Or well, the fourteen hits. Sorry. Okay. For six damage. All right. Is it magical? Uh, yes, it is. Alright. Uh, that's it for me, yeah. Alright then, Jukaro. Alright, um... I didn't do it last turn, because I thought... I thought the bites were, um... Like a willpower or something, or wisdom. But... Frost rune gives a plus two to checks and saves on strength and constitution. So that would matter right now, wouldn't it? For lycanthropy, correct? Hmm. I'm sorry. I missed the last part of that. You cut out. What was it? So, because there was a con save before, and I remember like we had a warning of it against werewolves and stuff. So I mm -hmm. thought it was like a wisdom save, so I didn't do it last turn. But I can do Frost Rune, which is a plus two to ability checks and saving throws to strengthen constitution. Okay, and it's just you? Yes. So that All would right. that would be effective. So that's that's me putting that on a bonus. And okay. then um and then I'll go back to main action, just sacred flame, just holding out my hand and just literally incantation and just trying to light him up with that um DC Dex thirteen. Just straight on to B again. All right, give me damage. Oh, you failed? Sweet. Yeah, I said he hits a six. Oh, I didn't hear the six. Um, oh, four. Two twos. Okay. You got anything else for me? No, that's action bonus. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, actually, hang on. Shift to there. So, I'm not leaving. I'm just shifting so that it's lining up. And that's all you got? Yeah, yeah, that that's that was the move. Because I'm not disengaging, I'm just to line up for Raven to get all right. Know. Yeah, yeah. Great. Means our werewolves will attack again. The one next to, to next to Balk is going to attack Raven. The one next to uh Zucaudel and Raven is gonna attack Dorlith. Mm-hmm. Um Raven against you, it's gonna be one claw attack and one bite attack. 
claw attack is going to be a 19. Oh, that hits. And the bite is going to be a 17. That hits. All right. So the claw attack will deal or slashing damage. The bite attack will deal five piercing damage, and then I need a con save. Nine all together. Damage and a con save. Ten. Ten fails. You don't... Nothing seems to happen. But you don't feel right. Something's wrong. You don't know what it is. And there's no physical manifestation of what it is, but it doesn't feel right. All right. And against you, Dorlis. Yes. going to have a claw attack and a bite attack. Okay. This one's going to be a 14. The uh, bite attack misses. will be a 22. Uh, the bite will hit. Okay. Bite will deal five piercing damage. Oof. And then I'll need a con save. Oof. Five. Sweet. Con save. Oof. Eleven? Eleven does not make it. Still so shaky a little bit. Yeah, same as Raven. You don't know what's wrong, but when the when the when the werewolf removes his fangs from you, he uh you you don't feel right. You don't know what's wrong, but something's yeah. wrong. Okay. Alright? And we're on to Bach. Alright. Same as it ever was. Yep. First attack. Oh, wait, I get advantage because I'm flanking. Gonna go crit fishing. Uh, 24. Or B. You said a 24? Yeah, that'll hit. Or B. And, uh, that's the... yeah, 15 will hit. No, no, that was the first attack because I'm flanking with Raven. Okay, so 24 will hit then. Yeah. I was going crit fishing. Four, 16 slashing. All right. And the second attack. Will be 14. That'll hit. For another 10 slashing. All right, you raise your battle axe after swinging the first time and this time you connect cleanly right on the collarbone of the werewolf, leaving him right in two. Nice. Hell yeah. With werewolf. Raven, it's your turn. Alright. Um I will attack A. Uh I'm thinking, so I still have advantage. Yes. Right. Price for 11. To hit. That will hit. And. Nice. Nice. Ten plus. 11, so 21 damage total. This has all been with the silver sword. And then I will disengage right. here behind a rock. Uh, so 21 damage to A, and then I move away. All right. Because I'm squishy. You said? Yes, 21. Total. All right. You are on to Dorlith then. Uh, taking that last, that last uh, bit of damage and realizing and seeing that that wound kind of healed a bit, Dorlith is gonna stow his weapons and just hold his hand up, kind of shake free some cobwebs in his his head just uh, to get his mind right. 
he'll raise his hand at this uh, this beast, and he'll just concentrate, and Black Icker will travel down underneath from underneath his uh, his traveling cloak over his fingers, and it'll just shoot out in uh, his direction uh, to cast uh, Sacred Flame. All right. It is a deck save. save. Yes, correct. It's a beat of 14. He is 17. Yeah, he saves. Right. Party. Or, I'm sorry, do you have anything else for your turn? Uh. Mm, no. 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 Really can't do. Okay. Yep. He's We're done. Party. That's it. Uh, sharpshooter with the first uh, shot. Uh, right. 22 minus 5. 17 hits. For 19 damage. Nice. And then a second bolt for 11 to hit. What'd you say? A what to hit? The second bolt was 11 to hit. That hits. For 7 more damage. All right. All right. You got anything else for me? No. All right. You're on to Shukaro. All right. Um. Uh. Uh, I was wondering, because I'm seeing, like, my friends get attacked and stuff, is there some sort of, like, intimidate thing or, like, some sort of taunt so I can get him focusing there back towards me? are think? features that allow you to do that, so I'm going to say no. Okay, so it's a feature. Okay. Um, Beats all right, well... That would allow you to. True. Okay. Um, all right, well, then I'll just continue on with the, with the um, Sacred Flame, as is. All right. So, dex 13. In 11. Sweet. So, damage. Total 5. Alright, 5. Yeah. But it's all radiant, so it should be going through, I hope. He's still standing. Okay. He's going to go ahead and attack you, Zucaro. Once mm -hmm. with the claws and once with a bite. Claw attack will be a 14. No, just bounces off. And the bite will be an 8. No, I just laugh in his face. Alright, you can't connect clean with any of his attacks. I'll just so like we'll move that. On to <laughs> Break a tooth on my armor. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Attack twice. 15. I'll hit. Uh, first one is going to be 8 slashing. Yep, that'll be enough to do oh, the same well, as you man. did to his other uh, teammate and cleave him right in half. No. Yep. Bye, puppy. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. You're left standing at the uh, entrance to a arc porch lit damp cave with uh, the bodies of two <laughs> marred werewolves in front of you. Um. So, so we know we held and warned and then we know that there's others because they've mentioned it um do we see anyone trying to flank us or hidden or yeah what was that uh because we know that they, they held and they know mm -hmm. that they mentioned about their leader and stuff so there's definitely like others around do we see anyone like trying to sneak up on us or anything like that So, uh, 
Doorless and Raven. You guys yeah, were bed? Yeah, just a just a scratch. I mean, it really didn't do too much damage. I probably should I, I'm take a nap to feel a little bit. Bitten. Why? Why do I feel flea bitten? Oh God, <laughs> they were dogs. <laughs> that, well, that, um, do I have fleas? We were now too. Weren't we? We were. We were warned by Esmeralda about the curses and werewolves and stuff in the area a long uh. time ago, and the silvered weapons. Aww. So. Oh, uh, well. Uh, um, are you gonna put us down? Mm, no, I don't know enough about the curse to know if you guys are a danger or not. I don't. Um, can I, I don't feel I, dangerous. Can I make a medicine check? I'm proficient in medicine. Sure. <laughs> can I roll? some kind of role to see if I would know if uh, Lesser Restoration would Natural help. Natural 20. Natural 20 for uh, medicine. Sure, what are you looking to find out? To see if Lesser Restoration would uh, help countering after a guaranteed uh, removal of uh you know it's disease a blood curse, or... so it's it's in your blood. You need a physical antidote. Oh, I feel I feel fine, you guys. I really I, I might I just need a little bit of a rest. I, hang on, um, yeah, I rolled a, I rolled a natural twenty on medicine. Cool. Yeah, that's what you that's what you remember. That's what you know. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh. Um. Well, we know that there's other wolves. We know that the, the mist is encroached around us. Um, are we, are we still fighting fit enough to, to continue in, to either further confront, or at least, or maybe uh, even convince these to stop attacking? I, I check over the, the, uh, corpses and see if they have anything on them. Nothing of value, no. Well, damn it, they don't even have an antidote on them. Screw them, mm -hmm. man. What if the uh what if their pack leader has something? I mean I think we now, mention there's a now leader. we have to go in. Hmm. Now we have to go in, which was always the plan. Or else yeah. they were looking back, looking back at the mist, does it look like the mist is is closing in on us too? Mist has closed in, forcing you into the cave. Okay. Torloth will uh, just like run his hands over his wounds slightly, and still shaking, and he'll uh, uh, lay on hands or uh, he'll heal ten uh, healing All right. into himself. Don't worry. In Icewind Dale, we have werebears. But they don't usually attack people. I feel like this is a territorial thing at the minute. Oh man. Yeah. Alright, well let's uh let's continue continue through. When when do we see something? Mm -hmm. I mean just a moment. Where's the <laughs> Here the cave seems to split to the left and right. In the middle is a five foot ledge where two wooden chairs sit, presumably where the two guards you just fought are sitting at. Will you go ahead and head left or right? So, uh, okay, um, I'll go to the left. Artie would like to uh, roll stealth again and hang back. All right, mm. give me just a second. I will use a potion of healing. Are these werewolves, uh, fey fiends, or undead by any chance? No, they are not. Okay. Werewolves are not considered undead. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
So y'all are gonna head into the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. How big is that ledge above us? Just five feet. Ah. Oh, okay. Um. Because I'm actually almost tempted to climb up it. To like go up and then check that that one. To go that way. As you enter in, find a large room with a campfire with nine wolves sleeping and resting in various states of array. Rounded. One old grizzled werewolf with a shining metal flute in his mouth playing some tune that clearly forgot the notes too long ago notices your entry and stands dropping the flute um you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just have everybody roll initiative <laughs> okay oh man Indeed. oh my oh, god man. that is horrible that is horrible initiative what um so, DM, with everything that we've heard about the blood curse of, of lycanthropy and all of that, would it be safe to assume that Dorleth and Raven might understand that this is probably happening to them? You know what I mean? That that's um, that maybe with that weird thing, just kind of putting a couple things together and thinking they probably might have it. That's reasonable, yeah. Okay. That's just... Yep. Cool. Thanks. Because I remember Esmeralda mentioning needing silvered weapons and werewolves and a couple like a curse and stuff like that. But, um, <laughs> I remember because she like full had a go at us. She's like, oh, "Of course you're ready for these things," and we're like, "Nope." And then she's like, "You fuck with." So I kind of like I kind of remember that conversation. It could be worse. Could be worse, Vito. Could be get bitten by a weregator. <laughs> All right, hey, a weregator would be cool. Hey, that a would be gator, that's me. awesome. Be that would be basically base. me if I went where. <laughs> I was hoping. For the were gator. <laughs> yep. Nah, Raven Jenny's not lucky. Seven, <laughs> five, already seven. Yeah. Put I'm twenty one again. Five. Seven. Falk has a twenty one. Dorley really, really good on initiative tonight. 16. Oh, so great. All right. Begin with Bach. Uh, now, are these 10 foot squares? Because it says one square equals 10 feet. They are 10 foot squares. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, wait, does that mean we're actually like that big? Uh, yeah. Technically, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Everybody, reduce yourself until your token says three feet. Or no, no, no. Reduce it until it says two feet. Sorry. Alright, well, screw it. That's a little too small, buddy. <laughs> that is that, that is three feet. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Oh, shit, even with my 40 feet, I can only go to here. Um... Screw it. I'm gonna chuck the javelin. Where to? I probably got playing the flute. Alright. Go ahead and roll the hit. Uh, uh 15. Alright, that'll hit. Yeah, but the damage is gonna get reduced. To two piercing. Alright. And Shut my second javelin. This time I'm gonna hit. Um. No, I'm gonna hit this uh boy. Up, hang on. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna hit this boy up here. I shit. How do I ping? I I see it. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna hit that boy. With my second second javelin. Uh, thirteen. Um, that will hit. And that's gonna be... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit, that'll hit, that'll hit. 
Uh, uh, eight piercing on the first Wolfie. All right. Uh, Let me lay these, these bad boys. Yeah. Well, that is my turn anyway, so. And I gotta remind myself to pick up those javelins if we if I survive. <laughs> There you go. All right, we are on to Werewolf after throw the uh, javelin at him and hit him with it. He breaks it off in his skin, leaving the, uh, the tip in him and breaking off the shaft, lunging across the room towards you. Right here. Just Warm. the tip. In. Okay. Just the tip. 10, 20, okay, yeah, 30 will get him here. <laughs> He'll go ahead and attack you twice, Ball. All right. Claw attack. The attack will be a 24. That hits. All right, well, the first attack, claw attack is going to deal seven slashing damage. I take the seven. All right. And the second one's the bite attack is going to be crit. Oh! It's going to be eight piercing damage, and I need you to make that con save with disadvantage. All right. Twelve. Twelve makes it. Yep. Got all that plus five. Oh. 12 just barely makes it too. <laughs> okay. Plus five. Oh, barbarians, man. They're con, man. All of the wolves will move as a group, moving across the room and getting in a position to attack. In 2030. 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 And 10, 20, 30. There you go. Now, you're on to Dorlith. Okay. Um, Dorlith is going to move. Uh, we're on to Dorlith? Really? Wait, it should be Raven, hey, right? Yes, Dor Dorlith had you had a 16, didn't you? Raven had, I had a 19. 19. Oh, I could have sworn it said you had a 7, dude. Hey, uh, no, that was me rolling. rolling uh, I took a um, health potion, which I did oh, send. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yep. I see. All right. All right. 19, then. We are on to Raven. All right. At 19, I... Hmm. It's going to be... One, two, with one, two, and again, movement is doubled. What it says? So movement is half because you're it's ten, ten foot eight squares. Square. Right, that's that's what I meant. For like fifteen feet on the mar map is actually thirty feet movement. Yep. And I'm using my feline agility. Three, four. Is that a uh, bonus action or is that a free action? Uh, that's uh, when I'm doing movement. Uh, when you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed to the end of your turn. So. That should get me 30, uh, 10, 20, 30, and I went to this. So, actually, 30 would put me here. Or no. That was. That's 30. That's 40. 40 puts me here. To hit. Go ahead and roll to hit. 
Okay, and I was in stealth when I started this, so... Mm. Advantage. Roll. 20 to hit. That will hit. For 8 <laughs> plus 11, 19 damage with my silver short sword and now I disengage uh behind or left all right so I move away from him to not be hit <laughs> sounds good to me we are on to Artie or Dorleth then Okay. We're behind. Dorleth is going to move 5, 10, 15 feet right here. And he's going to brace his hand against the wall and loudly kind of pant and uh, look at the, the older, older werewolf that everyone's been fighting <laughs> and say, uh, uh, we, sh we, we you're... We've been we've been bit and we have nowhere else to go. We we need uh, your guidance. Can we join you? It's what he says. Werewolf does not answer. Okay. Well. Does he, like, acknowledge or anything that I'm saying? Uh, he snarls back at you, uh, aggressively. Okay. Doesn't seem to care. Alright, so... Thorleth will just drop the facade. Uh... And with his hand, he'll just raise his hand up and say, Well, I... I, I tried. And he'll cast Sacred, sacred Flame at, a uh, old boy there. All right, deck save to beat a 14. So yeah, it'll be a 14. Meets What's, it, beats um, it. Yep. You got anything else for me? Uh, bonus action. Uh... I'm going to cast X. All right, on the werewolf, I was on. Uh, yep, yep, on big boy All there. Right. So he is now hexed. You're on to Artie then. Okay, I've already moved up as far as I can move. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire centered on uh, the center wolf here. Okay. How far do you have that? 60 feet. And from where I am to him is less than 30, so that's 60 feet. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what's no, the it's at, or, at, at the edge of your range at 60. Each of those squares is one, uh, 10, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40. So, yeah, you're 50 about feet 45 away. Feet, about 45 feet, yeah. Yeah. That's why I asked. It's because each square is 10 feet. What's the space? Right. The area? It's a, it's a yep. 20 foot cube, right? Yeah. So it'll be there. Look about right to you. Uh, 20 by 20. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right. I was gonna try to center it on on uh, the this group back here. Where highlight? Use your highlighter. Right, right click. Oh, you you can't. Okay, back here to try to get the most of them. Okay, so you just want to move it over ten feet to the left. Yep. Okay. 
uh, JR real quick yes, back to that's... oh go ahead sorry nope go ahead uh, back to Hex I choose deck save for him to have disadvantage on All right. oh wait no never mind he, he succeeded I'm sorry fuck me forget what I said alright okay so deck save for those wolves alright five deck saves Of a 15, we have an 11, a 15, an 18, the 10. So we have 10, 11, two 15s, and an 18. Uh, I need 15. Okay, so the only the only one that, the only two that don't get hit, the only the two that the get hit are the 10 and the 11. So D and F, what happens to them? Okay. Uh, they happened? just they glow. They okay, just have anyone that attacks those wolves get advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. D and F. All right. Is that gonna be it for your turn? Uh, action. Yep. Oh wait, right. I do get. I. How do you rule? Uh, spellcasters, do they get a, a bonus attack? I have, uh, marks. No, if the, if the, if the spell you cast took your action, then that's your action. Okay, because I have the feature that allows me to use my bonus action to attack anytime. Oh, with, yeah, uh, then if you have a bonus, if you have a feature that allows you to do that, yeah. You can use a bonus action to attack with a hand crossbow. That's what I was asking. Go ahead, yeah. Um, roll to hit. minus five to hit, plus ten. Uh, it's gonna be on the werewolf. Uh, no. Okay, cool. That's gonna be an eight. Next turn. That won't hit. Four turns, you cuddle. Um, okay. So, you being at the bottom like... of the order today? Ah, oh, dude, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I think it's like, uh, you know, I woke up a bit late, so, you know, just... It's in theme, you know? <laughs> the dice gods, they're, they're getting yeah. down to being late. Yeah, exactly. I um, so I actually want to, what is it called? Because I'm not technically in combat yet, correct? Because it's five, I'm a solid five feet away. Uh, sure, yeah, why? Yeah. So I want to use Guiding Bolt, because now that's an actual ranged thing. Because you said it's disadvantage yeah. on range. Yeah. So yeah, Guiding Bolt on him please so roll a hit for a total of 16 16 hits 16 hits cool and damage radiant is 18 total alright and then I'll just yell out um uh whoever whoever takes the next swing should be a bit easier and basically it's an advantage on the next on whoever attacks attacking him next. The werewolf has advantage. Yep. So I've actually yelled it out. Whoever attacks next. Is that gonna be it for your turn? Um yeah, now there's not really a bonus section I feel like using and I'll probably stay out of range at Oh actually sorry. Five ten fifteen I might go there actually. Yep. Five, five, ten, fifteen. 15, yeah, that'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> that'll be it. We're on the box. All right. Well, hold on. Uh, Did you, you had to move past the uh, werewolf in order to get there. You were, uh, you were I here, weren't too. you? Yes, because I was trying okay. to stay, I was trying to skirt around him. Fuck. Yeah, you're going to proc an opportunity attack there. Oh, well, it happens. Yep. He'll attack you with his bite or with his claws. Yep. Oh, lucky day! It's a nat one for five. Whoo! Yeah, as I walk on the block, these flaps and they just like swat right. the shield. I'm going to rage. This is a bonus right. action, and then 
Uh, first attack, it's advantage, because I think that's what Jakado said. Yep. Alright, so roll them bones. Uh, mod 20. That's a dirty, dirty 20. Um, right. And that's going to be... 9 slashing. And then right. my second attack... Is 25. Dude, I'll hit. And uh, that's going to be a 16 slashing. That's All so right. good. I think it's the dice gods are favoring me today because I know I had a shit last couple weeks. Yeah. Got anything else for your turn, bud? Nope. All right, then. Raven, we're on to you. Um... Uh, I move to here and then back with advantage roll. Twenty four to hit. I don't hit. Seven plus six, so thirteen damage. And uh disengage to hide behind as always Zucato. <laughs> Alright. That gonna be it for your turn? That is it for my turn, yep. All right, Bok, the werewolf is going to turn and attack you twice. Okay. Claw attack will be a 23. That hits. The bite attack is going to be another natural one for five. Oh, Oof, nice. Miss. So the claw attack will deal nine damage, and that'll be the end of his turn. Uh, it's going to be slash. four re four reduced. Alright, the All right. wolf will move into position and begin to attack. We'll move from back to front. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wolves, how much movement do the wolves have? They have 40. Oh, okay. Oh. In 15, 20. 20, 30, 40. Okay, so. This will allow them to move into position. And 20, 30, 40. Allow him to get there and there. All right. So we're going to have one, two, three attacks against Raven, four against Jukadal, one against Dorlith, and one against Bok. All right, so let me go here. So three attacks against Raven will be... Do you remember which ones are very fire? Do you said B and F? B and F, yes, are glowing. So Raven, the attacks against you are going to be a 15, a 20, and a 21. The 2021 hit. Okay. Take 13 piercing damage. I need two constitution saves. Or strength, rather. Sorry. Strength saves. Well, the first one's blown. So that means you're going to go prone. Be purple for prone. That'll be that. The second one was 17, though. Oh, well. <laughs> Ducado, next is you. Uh huh. It's gonna be a 10. Negative. A. A. 12. A 14. No. no. The 21. Oh, just 
Okay, it'll deal just four piercing damage, and I need a strength save. Uh, what, which one? Strength? Oh, yeah, strength, please. Save. Natural 20. 26. 26. All right. Oh, you've got two attacks. Ag what did I say? I said one against Bach and one against Dorlith. So, yeah. Bach, the attack against you is going to be a natural one for five again. <laughs> and Dorlith, attack against you is going to be a nine. All right, that'll be all of the wolves, and we'll be on to Dorlith. Uh, seeing these wolves come up, Dorlith is gonna just take out his rapier and stab at the one directly in front of him. Hey, okay, go ahead and roll to hit. Oh, for a with seven. advantage. With advantage, fairy fire. Oh, that one did yes, have fairy fire. D okay, is glowing. Yes, yes. You glowing. are right. Let me give another swing at it. Hey, that's much better. Thank you, Artie. Twenty-one. All right. That's Twenty-one hits. Be six points of piercing damage. Okay. And then his dagger again. Same creature. <laughs> another seven at advantage. Gonna miss. Twenty-three. I'll hit. Well, fairy fire only lasts for one attack, doesn't it? Should be every time. I think it's all attacks. Advantage on long? all attacks. What's the duration? As long as I concentrate on it. Okay, cool. And yes, the 23 hits. And uh, five additional piercing damage. All right, five will be just enough to kill it. Eight. Nice. And then Dorlith will step over the dead body I can grab him let me ugh, can't move okay there we go and he'll move right here okay. and with both weapons out he'll just hold his place that'll be an of his turn alright I guess we're on to Artie okay I am going to, and sorry, this is going to take a second because I have to roll the thing. No, I don't. Uh, sharpshooter on the first attack, 22 brings it down to 17. 18. 17. That'll hit. So 17 damage on G. Right, that'll be enough to kill it. Eighteen. That'll hit. With six on I. All right, six on I. You said. Yeah. Well, let me draw a line here. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. All right. You said six I also uh, don't suffer from attacking at max range of 120 feet. Oh, yeah, All right. Six damage. Okay. All right. Is that it for your turn? Uh, I'm going to move up. No, I'm fine. All right. That'll be it. We're going to Jukarl. All right. Cool. Um, so bonus action, I'll use Giant Smite and go large. So, um, I... uh, can you do that if you don't have the space? Uh, oh, you, so it's you are cave. surrounded on all sides. Uh, okay. Um, I wouldn't push him out of the way as I got big, or is it the cave? I that's don't sort of... know. Let me check your sheet. Because I think it's more the, the size of the environment. It just says if you lack the room to become large, you don't change. I would say, because it doesn't indicate that you would push anything out of the way. I don't think you'd be able to. You wouldn't become large, but you would still get the other advantages. Okay, that's fine by me. It's more the advantages that I'm looking at anyway. Yeah, so you get advantage on strength checks and saves. Yep. And then your your melee attacks or your weapon attacks 
Do an extra 1d6. Yep. And then as uh, my main action, um, I'm actually going to cast Bless. And okay. I'll cast Bless on um, the three, my three companions within range. So, so that's Raven, Bok, Dorlin? Yep. Exactly. And then, then sorry, sorry I didn't think of it save. earlier. Sorry? It gives them advantage on their next check or save? Uh, so... Up to three creatures, it's whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack or saving throw. So this is a one minute, no, sorry, it's a, yeah, up to one minute concentration spell. So it's a constant d4 bonus for attacks and saves for those three characters. Nice. All right, sounds good. And, and I'll just action? call that and say, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's the end of your turn. Sorry, guys. I didn't think of that earlier. All right. That'll be it for you since you have nowhere yeah. to move. Correct. And we'll be on to Bach. All right. Check this guy in front of me. Mage. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Seventeen. I'll hit. Let's go. That's gonna be ten slashing. Ten slashing will kill him. Ooh. Ooh. And I got great weapon master, which means I get a bonus attack. Yep. Falk is on a tear today. Yeah. Well, so. Right from the H, which I get advantage because of, oh, yeah, well, Raven's there, so flanking. Oh, uh, does it count if Raven is prone? I don't think uh, so. Go for it. Yeah. Don't forget, uh, you plus, uh, plus D4 to all attacks and saving throws. Roll with advantage plus four. Yep, yeah, roll with advantage plus four. All right. Uh, D4. D4. Yeah, plus a D4. Yeah, I know. This one I'm at. 25. Don't even need it. Yeah, we'll just say you got plus the D plus the four. And we'll say it's a twenty-nine. So. So the, so the wolf in front of me takes thirteen slashing. Nice. All right, that'll be enough to kill it. Goodbye. And then bonus action for great weapon master to I. It's gonna be my third attack. Is. Uh, can you Wait. use great weapon? Can you do that more than once a turn? I don't think you can. Uh, it's once. It says if I reduce a creature, it's one. It's one bonus attack. If I get a crit, or if I reduce a uh, enemy down to zero hit points. Yeah, but can you do that more than once a turn? Uh, no. That's well, I mean, I yeah, okay. I think. Uh, hang on. Um, go to my feet. Uh. On your turn, when you score a critical hit with a melee weapon or reduce a creature to zero with one, you can make one melee attack as a bonus action. Yeah, I guess it's unlimited. Well, it um, should just be once you only get one bonus action. I would actually say turn. one, because on other features that allow similar things, it, and it allows it infinite times, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah, say yeah. Once... you may take a bonus attack. Instead of, it said this on this, it specifically says you may take one bonus attack. Mm. All right. So we'll say you can do that once a turn. Do you have anything else you want to do? Yeah, the the, the, the bonus action. <laughs> and what's your bonus action? Uh, attack I. <laughs> All right. Hold the hit. Right. Oh. Uh, mod twenty. All right. Go ahead. Be damaged. Uh, that's gonna be seven more slashing on I. All right, bro. Who did you bribe to get the dice to your son? Listen, I was at my dad's funeral yesterday. I think the dice guys are blessing me today. You know what? I think that's fair. That's totally yeah. fair. All right. All right. All right. That ends box turn. All right. Who we have next? We have Raven. Uh, Raven stands. All right. That'll be half your movement. Yep. Uh, quick question. Uh, what was the uh, letter of the other one that was glowing? F. 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 
So the one right yep. in front of me, I have advantage on, so... Mm -hmm. Which means I will take that. And... Thing as they are not a werewolf, probably, I will... That... Roll... Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> so that is twenty six damage altogether. All right, that'll be enough to kill him. Um. And disengage. All right, or actually, where are you gonna move to? Disengage, and I will run my pansy ass behind Bach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is my fat ass not big enough for you anymore, huh? <laughs> what? No, yeah, no, you're 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 a little closed in. I, I need to be. <laughs> I need to be I can't hear you over the wind in my up. ears. It is more of a roadblock. <laughs> All right. So we are on to our wolves. There are one, two, three, four, five of them, and looks like all of them are going to attack you, Caudle. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Now, here's the fun <laughs> part. They all have advantage because of pack jacket. Well, I at least get advantage on my saving throws. Unless I lose. Oh wait, no, I do. I, no, I've got saving throws for strength, so that's okay. I'm good. I'm so good. the first one's gonna be a nat 20 for 24. Fuck off. Fuck. <laughs> Point to deal. 12 piercing damage, and I need a strength save. One, two, three. <laughs> 12. Look on the bright side, even if you go prone, it doesn't matter, they already have advantage. They can't yeah. get double advantage. Um, yeah, 14 and save. 17 right. plus 6, so, yeah. It was at this moment that he advantage. knew he fucked up. I mean, 18. Nah. All right, C is going to attack also. That'll be a 20. Nope. All right, E will attack. <laughs> Be a fourteen. No. And I will attack. Oh, I thought you. Be a twenty. <laughs> twenty it does, hit, does hit. All right. Dealing five piercing damage, and I need a strength save. And advantage and roll. And 22, because it's plus two from my other ability anyway. So, and plus, I All still got right. a D4. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. D4 so for the bless. No, I didn't give myself bless, but I had a plus two from um, Frost, Frost Rupert. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 22 anyway. I can just imagine, like, all the wolves are just, like, lunging and stuff, and I'm just fucking swinging the shield and defending and probably taking a couple of nips at the legs and the arms and elbow and shit. <laughs> All right, that'll be the end for the wolves. We're on to Dorlith. Uh, Dorlith will skirt. Um, five. Oh, uh, nope, he'll stay right where he is. It's fine. Uh, on his bonus action, he's going to shift the hex to B from when okay. the werewolf died. Uh, and then it's going to be on dexterity saving throws is going to be disadvantage. Okay. And then he's going to cast Sacred Flame at B. And it has to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage. All right. Well, even with disadvantage, you can still land natural 20s. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
That's obscene. Two that's, natural twenties on a disadvantage save. That's, that's some crazy. Celasta stuff right there. Oh. Yeah, that's some Celasta shit right there. <laughs> oh. So B is hexed. I've done that uh, and that's the end of his turn. All right, Artie. Okay. Artie's gonna. Uh, hit an 11 and a 15. 11 and a 15, they will both hit. 7 to I, which I think is already damaged from earlier. That will kill it. Nice. And 5 to B. Alright. Nice. Um, and then I'm gonna move in as far as I can. You can go right up next to Doralith. Is that it for your turn? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I uh, fired two bolts and then moved okay. forward so that I could heal some people. All right, then, Jukotl, it's on you. All right, uh, so just to give myself a bit of extra health because I'm feeling a bit worse for wear and stuff from those bites, All give right. myself a, 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 what's it called, second win, so 1d10 plus 5 uh, HP. Nice. So, 1d10. Ten. Eight plus five. What's that? Thirteen. Thirteen. And then I'm going to use my standard action and just swing in with my uh, warhammer All against. Right. Uh, does anyone have any advantages or anything like that, or...? No, they're all dead. Alright, cool. So I'll just start, uh, I'll start above me, so I'll go to E, then C, then A, then B, in that order kind of thing. So He's kind of e. wounded. Uh, 17, so 23, plus a D4. And then, I presume all that's right. a hit. Uh, four, and then I want to add, wait, does four kill it? No. Cool, so then I'll use my one time per turn of uh, adding a d6 to the hit. Okay, go ahead and roll it. d6, roll, Big and it's another six. It's another six? Yeah, so six more damage, so ten total All on right. each. Still standing. Still standing. All right. I'll just uh, action surge. All right. And I'll swing back into. I'll uh, swing back into E for Warhammer. All right. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen will hit. And damage. Another six damage. All right. That'll kill him. Cool. And then can I arm um, strike into the next opponent C as my bonus action? Uh, didn't you already bonus action? Mm, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. When? Oh yeah, because yeah, wait, does... yeah. no, you used action. Oh no, no, no action surge. surge no, no, action, action surge only gives me an action, not a bonus action. Yeah, it's I an action, no bonus action. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're cool. All right, cool. Then that's me done. All right, then we're around to start us off on round four. Bok, let's go. So that was um, E. I, I targeted those E first, by the way. Give myself advantage. What'd you say? E. I targeted E to start above you me. Did. Yeah. Twenty-three. Nice. 
That's going to be 14 slashing on this Wolfie. All right, that'll be good. And second attack. Sixteen. I'll hit. For ten more slashing. That'll be enough to kill it. Oh, and my turn. All right. On to Raven. All right, um, I, uh, I joined Artie back here and, uh, I'd like a little bitch. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Scaredy cat. Damn, Skippy. I'm not here to be front line. <laughs> All right. The uh, last wolf will see that it's alone and take the opportunity to scamper off back into the darkness of the cave. He'll get an opportunity attack if you want one, Jukarl. Yeah, might as well. Um, so just hit that Warhammer. Yep, go ahead and roll a hit. Uh, 17. 17 hits. And damage is a... It will not be enough to kill it, so it will escape off into the uh, cave, deeper into the cave. Mm -hmm. Is it looking pretty? It's looking pretty bloody, though. I'd imagine. Yes. Would my turn be after the wolf? Mine would. Um, hold on. Yeah, it would be Dorla first. Uh, Dorla uh, next. How okay. far can he go? The wolf or the wolf. On the dash action, 80 feet. That wolf is gone. Oh, he didn't attack. That's right. No. Because on my turn, I have 120 distance with my bow. Uh, Yeah, well, no, it would be Dorla's turn first. Okay. Uh, Dorla is going to look at Artie. And move out of the way and end his turn. All right. But uh, shifting that hex to that wolf. And you cast hex on a target you can't see. It was shifting uh, on the death. On the death yeah, of the last animal. Death. That makes sense. Yeah, yep. that's fine. Yep. I just didn't want right. to interrupt. Well, you're left standing in the uh, cavern with the smoldering fireplace. The bodies of eight wolves and a werewolf. First of all, I want to take back my javelins. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I want to pick up that silver flute. Um, I just want to make sure, like, there's nothing up here ready to attack us or anything. All right. Would I be able to try to take a shot at that wolf if he's only 80 feet away? Um, well, let me open up this area for you and show you why the answer is no. This area mm. is an open space, a maze of torchlit tunnels and caves. There's no clear sight line to even see where the wolf went. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, I think Jukato, knowing that the wolf scampered off, I'll I'll sort of like be guard and just sort of be ready, like ready to defend or attack anything that sort of comes through. All right. As you sort of shift through the area. You can see on different sight lines. You see sleeping werewolves. So I'm sort of like, I'd, I'd probably park myself about here, and I'm just sort of like head checking, head check, head check, but not advancing without the others. 
is probably the most I would do. Dorleth wants okay, to go so... to the corner down here and just kind of peek around down these stairs. Just like kind of giving a good 360 for everyone, just holding a little bit of security. Looking down the stairs and see if there's anything down there. Yes, give me a second. Yes. A gash in the rocky ceiling allows the gray light and cold drizzle of the outdoors to seep into this dank, torchlit cave, where an underground spring forms a pool of water roughly 40 feet across and 10 feet deep. A five-foot-high ledge to the north overlooks the pool, and a similar ledge spans the eastern wall, with a rough-hewn staircase leading up to it. A few crates sit atop the eastern ledge. Or they'll come back over here on the stairs or just walk over back over here and say there's nothing on the other side of uh down the other stairs i think we're all right from the rear at the minute okay. that might be where we want to that might be where we want to go first anyway um uh, raven do you have the elixir that i gave you earlier hold on I have a potion of healing greater. Okay. Then you didn't write it down, but that's fine because then it doesn't exist. Um, I'm going to hand you uh, my elixir of healing that I just made this morning. Uh, it's 2d4. Uh, do, you, do you use it? Oh, yeah. I, I will immediately okay. use that. So it's okay. 2d4. Roll, roll 2d4. Nice. nice. Is it plus anything? Artie? Yes. Yeah, it's 10 health because it gets my uh, modifier. Okay. Um, but then, no. Okay. Um, and then I would like to heal with a spell as well. Well, you can see Jacardo's taken a couple of hits. I don't know if that matters. I, I motion for you to come back down. Okay. <laughs> Doing head checks and stuff. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't see the werewolves and stuff further in. Could I? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. No. Raven, you heal for an additional five, and then thought all you deal. Um, that you heal for six. Cool. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, and then I am one, one under my max. So that's perfect. Um, and then I'm going to uh, try to no, I'll identify it later uh, check out this other cavern before we move forward just just to be sure yeah. do a quick once over yeah, yeah I think um, I think we should make sure there's no other nasties behind us in this area You've got the underground spring near, and crates up top are, some of them are partially open, but most of them are sealed. Look through the crates that are partially open. I will Seems assist to just him. Be heaps. Seems to just be heaps and heaps of all kinds of clothing, adult and child size, all of it bloodied. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at the stuff he doesn't look at. You find is there the any sort of like thing? no mm. sort of like knickknacks or items mm. itself or no, just clothing. 
Mm -hmm. I'm taking my backpack off. All right. Um, and just out of curiosity, what's the what's that fissure in the ground next to the? Z4? That's actually in the roof. It's, it's in the, the roof. Ceiling. Oh, oh, that's the ceiling. So it's like a bit of sunlight creeping through, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. well, well, sunlight, quote unquote, you know. Um, I'm going to about... grab my potion of. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, what about the water and looking over the um the precipice kind of thing, that little cliff? Like, is there anything over there, like over this way in the water? Can I see anything in the water? Stuff like that. I was getting in the water because I needed oh, to clean okay. off the blood. Huh. Yeah. I was taking my potion of uh, transformation out and taking a drink of it and growing gills. Hmm. Nice. I'm going to pop in and go for a swim, see if I see anything below the surface. It's only about 10 feet deep, just a deep slate bottom. No holes mm -hmm. or cracks leading to anywhere. Okay. Does it feel clean? Does it look clean? Like drinkable-ish? It doesn't does it look, look sort dirty. Of stagnant? Or does it look sort of stagnant and mossy? It doesn't look particularly dirty. Uh, Except I... where we're washing the blood off of ourselves in it well before you guys step in it before you guys <laughs> step in it or something like if it's drinking the blood probably take like, a bit oh, of a drink God, blood yeah <laughs> just wading in yeah i uh i consider doing this to raven but decide not to and go to swim over next to doorless under the water and come up and grab his ankle Dorleth immediately kicks out or whatever it is and stumbles backwards. <laughs> you son of a bitch. And, uh... You got me. Uh, that, that was probably a good call. Uh, Raven probably would have stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get out of the water. All right. Yeah, well, since there's nothing here, do we just sort of want to camp in the corner and short rest or something? Yeah, I'm yes. cool with that. Uh, All right, then. We'll make camp and sort of passively keep watch. Some of you will take yeah. a nap. Some of you will fiddle with your weapons. And party will make music with his prestidigitation spell. And think as long as everybody's okay with it we'll take our short rest there and end the yes, session right yeah cool.
another lightning flash rips through the darkness, its thunder echoing through the castle towers. But Strahd is gone. Only the howling of the wind, or perhaps a lone wolf fills the midnight air. Master of Ravenloft is having guests for dinner, and you are invited.